What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode right here, we're back in Sword, and we're in the nice town, city, or whatever you like to call it, of Balonia. Yes, it's a nice, uh, it, it has a nice, uh, I don't know how you, you should put it, uh, a nice fairy tale uh, touch to it. So, let's go right ahead and take a tour of this place and battle its gym leader, because you know what? It's a cool thing to do. Battle the gym leader and all that crud. So, first thing is first. I think you have to talk to this guy right here. Let's see. Frank! That's my granddad's name. Hmm. Is this Frank? He doesn't look like a granddad. Frog! Frog, 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 frog. I'm a Pokemon. Have a battle with me. Wait, we're going to have a battle? Listen for a second. Scorbunny and Sizzlipede are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Scorbunny and I are different uh, species, just like Sizzlepeed and I are different too. If you think about it, if you think about it that way, there's no problem calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. What? You don't have a. You don't have to worry about me. Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. I I wanted to become a Pokemon once. Well, I would say, well, good luck with that, but not really. You can you can be one. I guess. Hey, I got it. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. Basically, if I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does, it'd be like I became a Pokemon, don't you think? You, would you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? Wait, so... Okay, so... I guess we're supposed to be changing into something right here, but I guess it, with this guy right here, this is what this is what happens. He gives you the TM78 acrobatics. What happens here is you'll find an artist who wants to become a Pokemon. He'll ask you to show him a fiery fashion that reflects his burning passion. This means you need to show him the fire type tracks uh, tracksuit jacket. As mentioned in the previous sub subivent, you can get the one at Hammerlock Boutique. Speak to the artist while wearing the fire-type tra tracksuit uh, jacket, and he'll be moved that he'll give you the TM-78, which I don't think I have. Hmm. Do I have the fire track? I don't even know. So, yeah, that guy, TM-78, don't forget, guys. Now, let's go right ahead and take a look at these uh, places right here. Let's see. Opal's, uh, gym, uh, Opal's Gym Stadium is a small theater. Really? Opal has been the gym leader for a long, long time. That is true. I believe Opal is that old lady. You're looking for Frank. That'd be me, yes. What's this? You've got a letter addressed to me? And, oh, wow, the old letter to him. So if you guys don't remember, back in Hammerlock, we actually got ourselves uh, a letter from somebody, and we, had, we were supposed to deliver it to a man named Frank. This is the man. Now, who could, who could be sending me letters? Oh, why? Oh, Oh, why this is uh, from uh, Paula? That does take me back uh, ages. Paula was the name of the girl I spent all my time playing with when I was a young lad. She fell ill, didn't tell me though. She kept it a secret just to, uh, just how sick she was. We ended up having a great row about it. Then I w I moved away not long after the fight. Not not like not long after that fight. I never met her again after the day I left. How how was she? Did she look well? Dear old Paula, she looked well. That's a comfort to hear. I reckon I ought to give you something for this gift that you've brought. For you brought me back a piece of my youth. And here we get ourselves a choice scarf. And, uh, well, I do believe that you can get the Reaper scarf from this guy, too. Let's see. Let's see. Do you have a dear friend in your life? Yeah. Make sure you treasure those dear to you while you have them close. Now... I believe it's with this guy right here that he'll actually give you a Reaper Cloth as well. Let's see. Paula was even, uh, didn't see anything to find a Reaper Cloth while you're in the Hammerlock. You, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we, we need to be in, the, in a fire, fiery tracksuit to get the, the Reaper Cloth. So, let us move on right here. Uh, let's see. There's somebody right there playing with an ink. So, I think I should go right here. See if we can find a Gingerbread Man. Oh, look at you. Defeated Stow Inside Gym Leader, eh? You'd probably know your way around a TM like this one in, in that case. And here we get ourselves the TM-77 Hex. Now, if you're playing Shield version, you will be getting yourself the TM-42 Revenge. And, uh, well, of course, it's a relentless uh, attack that does massive damage to a target affected by the status condition. So, yeah, 
pretty much uh, the reverse of you know the gym battles uh, signature TM and all that stuff. Having your Pokemon learn moves of different types can be a real help, you know. That is true. Huge, huge truth to that. Evolution is a tr is a bit tricky, but for Pokemon trainers, if a Pokemon evolves, it'll get stronger. But its appearance will change. Do you want to know how to make your Pokemon strong without evolving? Sure, why not? Okay, I'll teach you while battling. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Oh, jeez. Never mind. So here we go. Taking on Pokemon breeder Elena. And she will be coming out with a Dottler. Of course, Dottler. Psychic and Bug type right here. So, yeah. Kind of kind of picked the wrong Pokemon for this situation. But guess what? We're going to use Spark just to beat this guy. And, no, not so big. And now, here comes a Light Screen attack, which... Yeah, don't like. So, let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's go with Baconator right here. So glad. So freaking glad that I got this guy and called him Baconator because at least it reminds me of one of my favorite sandwiches now. So, here we go. Here we go. Psy Shock. Will it do anything to us? Not a lot. Not for Baconator right here. So, let's go right ahead and use the Flame Wheel attack right here. Look at this. Yeah, buddy. Charboiled Steam Burger. Right here on Carl's Jr. <laughs> and of course he's trying to... Of course this Pokemon is trying to uh, raise its uh, defenses and all that stuff. But guess what? We got Bug Bite. And it's got a little bit of HP left. So there we go. Dottler has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And more, more levels for our Pokemon right here. And she's like, I didn't expect you to be able to breach Dottler's solidarity. Or solidity. Solidity. I can't even say that right. Okay, so let's see. Even though my Dottler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? Not really. The secret is this Eviolite. And here we have obtained the Eviolite, which of course is a held item. A mysterious evolutionary lump. When held by a Pokemon that can still evolve, it raises both its defense and special defense. If you let a Pokemon that can still evolve hold the Eviolite, that Pokemon's defense and special defense will go up. It's pretty cool. Very good item to actually have. I might give it to one of my Pokemon here just in case. Now, I don't think there's anything else that we can actually get except to go right here. And we will find an item. And look at that. We found ourselves the TM21 Rest. Alrighty. So we got Rest. And that will be a good combination move for uh, Snore. And look at that. We found ourselves a Balm Mushroom. And, well, now it is time for us to actually go straight to the gym right here. Yeah, back-to-back -back battles, easy battles and all that stuff. So here we go, Opal's Gym, the Fairy-type Gym. And, well, here we have uh, another uh, another lovely guest right here, Marnie. Oh, Challenger Draven. Hmm, you got four gym badges already? I'm going to have to watch out for you, huh? Rah, rah. Look, even more Pico is wary of you. Wait, Morpico, don't you tell or don't tell me you don't actually like Draven. Ugh. We've already had a serious battle with him. He's in a uh, he's an opposing gym challenger. Guess there's nothing to it. Look, just take one of these uh just just take one of my league cards, okay? Alrighty, whatever you say, homie. And there it is, we get ourselves a Marnie's League badge. And well, she's like, what's with that look, huh? This just means I'll think of you as my rival from now on, okay? Can we be more than just rivals? I'm just saying. I do like myself some god chicks. There aren't too many champ challengers left, you know. So we're meeting in the finals. You got that? Okay, sure, why not? Whatever you say. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now, of course, homeboy right here, he is the ball guy. He will actually give you another Pokeball. This one will be the love ball. Pretty much just telling us that, hey, that girl right there, mm-hmm. She is uh, going to be a catch one of these days. Get it? Catch, catch. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so first is first. This is a fairy type gym. I do have a well, I do have maybe one or two Pokemon that can actually help out, but I do have TMs right here that can actually help me. So I'm going to, you know, sort the uh, sort the TMs and find myself a very good move for these Pokemon. Um, let's see. I can use thro Throat Chop now. Although it might not work very much, but it is a dark type move. Let's see. Dazzling Gleam. Don't need it. Drill Run. 
kind of need. Wild Charge could actually work, but it's a recoil move. What I do need is a Steel type move that will actually work, but yeah, not working right now. Hold on just a sec. Power Gem. Damn. Seed Bomb. Damn, none of these moves work? I, wow. Okay, so let's see. Dragon Claw, not there. Hyper Voice. Shadow Ball. Jeebus, criminy. Okay, so none of these... Okay, so this might actually work, but then we got a low kick right here for Optimus Prime. And then I got an Ice Beam. Okay, so I got plenty of Ice Beam for Michelangelo. I could use that. Flamethrower for Baconator right here. You know what? I could use that. Let's see. Tail Slap, Electro Whip. Bulldoze is a good move. And you know what? Venoshock. I could use Venoshock for Blitzkrieg because... You know, its acid attack is not much uh, its not much better right there. So let's go ahead and teach that to our Blitzkrieg. And, well, there we go. We got that. U-turn could be used. Rock Blast. Revenge. Huh. Yeah, we could use Revenge, but that requires us to get hit first. So, yeah, there's not a lot that we could do, but except for this one. We got Steel Wing. Let's go ahead and give that to Quackor. And take out its iron defense right here. So we got now we got a new move right here that can actually help us. Since Quackor is, well, somewhat of a flying type Pokemon. Somewhat, not really. And well, let's see. Dig attack could actually work. Pin missile. You know what? Screw it. Since I have plenty of ice beam attacks, I might as well use one on Michelangelo. That way, you know, it actually has a an attack that's worthwhile right here. So let's go ahead and use that. And well. I guess Headbutt could be one of them, but its special attack is not that great. Ah, oh, Gravy. Yeah, that's the thing right there, guys. Its special attack is not that good, so I'm not going to waste an Ice Beam on this guy since it is a special attack. Wow, can you believe that? Draven's finally learning how to use its Pokemon's uh, moves, uh, his, mo his Pokemon moves properly. And, well, let's see. We got 14 Tri Attacks. Holy crud. Okay, and then Dumbledore. You know what? We could go with this one. Let's go with the Psy Shock. What could we replace this move with? Let's see. Psy Shock can, uh, yeah, can, yeah, we could do that. So let, we're gonna be doing this instead. So we're gonna go with a Psy Shock, and hopefully it gets better from there. Okay. So that is that. And you know what? Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Okay. So. Let's go right ahead and battle our fifth gym leader right here, the fairy type gym leader. And Gym Challenger, would you like to challenge our gym? Yes, of course. She's going to be saying the same thing as everybody else. So let's go right ahead and just get into our little change right here and then get the F out and then start doing this whole thing. Look at that. We're looking big pimping right here. Number six. That's right. We're going to be breaking a leg. Lots of legs. Every leg. Bring it on. Okay. All righty. So, what do we got here? There is Opal, the grand mama of them all, right there, and she's looking uh, very, very, uh, <laughs> she's looking very, very Galarian, I should say. Ah, there you are, my dear challenger, though you are really lacking the color pink. See, I'm looking for a successor to take on the role of the gym leader here. So my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts, too. Oh, don't worry. It's simple enough. You'll need to do this. You'll, all you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering, though, child. If you get one wrong, or if you get an answer wrong, the stats of your Pokemon will get lowered. Oh, but if the answer's cor if you answer correctly, your Pokemon will get a stat boost. Just think of it as a little fairy type Pokemon magic to make things interesting. Now, I want you to go all out. Show me what you can do. Oh, damn. Okay, so this is new right here. This is uh, very, very new. And, well, let's get it on right here. Let's see what kind of stuff. They, oh, crud. Okay, so this is... Ba oh, oh, wow. So this is an, uh, an audition right here. All right. Okay, it's time to start your audition to see if you're worthy of becoming the fairy type gym leader. Oh, shoot. Okay, so here we go, guys. Gym Trainer Annette wants to battle us, and, uh, well, she's going to be coming out with her Spritzy right here. Nice Fairy-type Pokemon ready to kick our butt, but we got Blitzkrieg. 
Bring it on. Now let's go with a Veto Shock to destroy this Spritzy. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Say goodbye to Spritzy. <laughs> oh, yes. Blitzkrieg Bop right there. Now, after you defeat the Gym Trainer's uh, Pokemon, they are going to start asking you questions right here. I am not going to switch my Pokemon. And here comes a Slurpuff. Look at that. It looks like a big old piece of pudding. Question. Do you know about fair type weaknesses? Poison type, yes. Believe it or not, it's poison type, but you can't get you can't get it wrong because steel type Pokemon are also effective against these uh, fairy type Pokemon. So here we go again with another Venishock. Oh yes, look at that. Say goodbye to Slurpuff. Yeah, buddy. And look at that. We grow levels Baconator as well. Oh yes, we're we're just we're just taking it all right here. It's looking like a Blitzkrieg pop in here because uh, <laughs> we're gonna be uh, sweeping everybody. So now I see. I can't say that Miss Apollo will think, but you at least at least piqued my interest. It's just uh, yeah, it, it's basically an audition, and we're just gonna keep on th battling three trainers until you know we battle our gym leader herself right here. So as you can see. I'm the second trainer. Don't you worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. So here it is, guys. Battle number two. And, well... One of the biggest things is that you're going to have to remember the last trainer's name. I believe it was Annette. I could be wrong. <laughs> let's go right ahead and battle everybody right here. So let's go with a Venoshock. Yeah, buddy. Venoshock takes care of Swirlix. Oh man. Oh man. We are definitely going to just... We're just going to sweep this whole thing right here. Plain and simple, we're sweeping everybody. And here she comes out with Aromatise. Aromatise. Is that how you pronounce it? Aromatise or Aromatise? Could be wrong. Comment down below. I know many of you guys don't like me butchering names here. So here is the question. What was the previous trainer's name? Ah! Oh! Okay, so... Trigger happy button right there. We get our stats lowered, but no biggie. Venoshock for the win. Hopefully. And yeah, so <laughs> here comes a sweet kiss attack. And uh, now we are confused right here. Holy crud. Holy crud. Okay, so let's go right again and do another Venoshock. Hopefully for the win right here. There we go. Venoshock does its thing. Say goodbye to Aromatise. Or Aromatise. Again, guys, comment down below if I'm butchering the name. And look at that. Dumbledore and Quackor gain some levels right here. I think this team is the most balanced one. I I, I would like to say, level-wise, it's more balanced than my shield team. I don't know. Could be wrong. I don't even know. Don't worry about right or wrong. Just keep moving forward. Okay. Alrighty. She said it. I'm gonna do it. So here's the next trainer. Do not know what her name is. And, well, I'm next. I think you might have what it takes to become a fairy type gym leader. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be the fairy type gym leader. So here we have Theodora. Theodora, and she's coming out with a Morgrim. Now, this guy, of course, is a fairy and dark type Pokemon. We do have him in our shield team. And, uh, well, he's a little strong for his own good, but hey, you know what? You know what? We can get him. We can get him. And look at this. Use a flatter attack. And now we're confused right here. So this is going to be bad right here. So let's go with the Venoshock. And look at that. Morgrim has been defeated. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's more experience points for all of us right there. And here comes another Pokemon, Gardevoir. And, well, let's see. Should I? Nah, I'm not going to switch it. Not going to risk that. Okay, so here comes our favorite Pokemon, Gardevoir. And, well, the question is, what do I eat for breakfast every morning? Oh, crud. <laughs> Don't even know, but, uh, yeah, let's go. You know what? Let's go with omelets. I prefer cheese omelets. Okay, so our Stats get boosted up right there, and, well, let's go right ahead for a Venoshock, and, well, the Dazzling Gleam is coming out. That doesn't do much. 
But guess what? Oh, wow. We broke the, conf the confusion. So now we're going to go with a Venom Shock right here for the win. Suck on those. That's right. Say goodbye to Gardevoir. And more leveling. Look at this. Our team's just... <laughs> Our team is just balanced. That's what they are. Balanced. So let's go ahead and take away Spark. And say hello to Discharge right here. Yeah, buddy. Okay. All righty. And Theodora has been defeated right here. I play a strong trainer. I'm a method actor. So I become a trainer in real life, too. Huh. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so... We should be focusing on the gym challenge. But Miss Apparel insisted on making this audi an audition. Okay, so that was three trainers. And I guess Opal will... Yeah, she will want the challenges afterwards. So, yeah, we need to get the heck out of here. Alrighty. Alrighty. First is first. Let's go ahead and uh, restore restore a little bit of PP to our Pokemon right here. Venoshock has been restored. And you know what? Let's give a soda, you know, for his trouble right here. Alrighty. Bring it. We're going into the, uh, well, we're going into the next uh, gym battle right here. And yes, we can imagine. Yes, we're going to immediately challenge her. Right. Then go on ahead. Give my regards to the gym leader. And there it is, guys. It's time. Our people in the fairy type gym are waiting for us, guys. We're just gonna run out there. That's right. To Stone Cold Steve Austin's music. I would love to do that. Or Booker T. I love Booker T's entrance and all that stuff. So here's old Paul, and she is, uh, yeah, I think she's taking a nap. Is she taking a nap? Oh, crud. Okay, she's not. I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but. I'm Opal, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at your uh, how you handled those quizzes. The last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon behave. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, guys. We're going to be going up against uh, Opal, the fairy-type gym leader. And uh, it's taken her quite a, some time to get... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so here it is, guys. Opal has challenged us. Bring it on. And, oh crud, she is coming out with a Weezing. And look at that, a Galarian Weezing. And I may or may not have chosen the wrong type of Pokemon for this. So, let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's go with this guy right here. Quackor the Fowl. Alrighty. <laughs> Bring it. Oh, yeah. Because uh, this Pokemon right here does have a weakness to Steel type Pokemon right here. Not necessarily a steel type Pokemon, but it does have a, a nice capability right here. You do you know my. Wait, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, she asked questions right here? Oh, crap. Okay, never mind. Uh, the magic user. What? Oh, crap, baskets. So, there we go. Look at that. Our speed has harshly fallen now. Yeah, okay, steel type Pokemon. Let's go with the steel wind. And here comes Fairy Wing, or Fair Wind. And, uh, yeah, we're getting our butts kicked right now. So here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're definitely getting our butts kicked right now. So here comes another fairy wind. Come on, bro. Come on. Steel wing. And that takes a chunk out of Weezing's uh, HP right there. So let's go again with the steel wing. And, ah, uh, crud. So there goes Quack or the Foul. Good gravy. All righty. You know what? I wasn't going to use him, but you forced my hand into this battle, so let's go Dumbledore. Okay. Please don't ask me another question. Oh, crap, Baskets. What is my favorite color? Pink. Uh, that's what I like to see. What? You keep... Oh, my God. Okay, so we're... <laughs> yeah, we are screwing up badly right here, so... Here comes a sludge attack, and... Uh... Shit baskets. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, that wasn't good at all. Let's go right ahead and... Uh, well, let's see. Huh. What kind of Pokemon should we use? You know what? Michelangelo, screw it. Let's do it. Oh my god, I can't believe we screwed up on those two. And, well, here she comes with another question. Oh, no, not another question. Let's go with the waterfall attack. Let's go, Michelangelo. Waterfall attack for the win. And 
crap. This wheezing is super defensive right here. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Waterfall again. And yes. This time for the win. Suck on those lemons, wheezing. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And well, she's going to be coming out with a Mawile. We already know what this, this guy's weakness is. So let's go with Baconator. Alrighty. Come on, Baconator. Let's do this. Destroy. That's all I want from you to do is just to destroy. And here comes a Mawile. Oh, crud. Okay, so let's see. Do you have a question? Uh, nope. She just does Intimidate. So I have a feeling she does have a question. And no, she doesn't have a question. Let's go. Flame Wheel attack. Let's get it. Alrighty. Flame Wheel. For the win. Nearly. And here comes an Iron Defense coming from Mawile. But that won't really do much because, uh, yes, I am a badass. Oh, crap. Here is a question. And alrighty. How old am I? Ah, oh, crap. Uh, 88. <laughs> what? What the? Oh. Okay, she is messing with us right now. That is not fair. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, so our special attack has fallen pretty badly, and that could have defeated Ballwild, but this chick right here... I mean, either or, we could have just... Oh, crud. Now, you know what? I'm just going to be on a tangent right here. Either or, if we would have answered 16 or 88, we would have gotten that wrong. I kid you not. But there we go. Say goodbye to Ballwild. Alrighty, okay, so here she's gonna come out with a Togekiss. Let's go with our secret weapon, Blitzkrieg. Alrighty, we're gonna go for the Blitzkrieg bop right here. Alrighty, Blitzkrieg, do your thing. He's looking at her, and she's like, what's up? And here comes Togekiss, both a fairy and flying type Pokemon, but it does have multiple weaknesses. One having to do with electricity, and the other one, yes sir, yes sir poison type and here comes an ancient power and uh oh, here we go discharge takes a nice chunk out of the togekiss's uh hp right here and look at that paralysis Alrighty, so let's go with the beto shock finisher oh yes say goodbye to togekiss okay all righty Alrighty, and Baconator grows to another level, so does Blitzkrieg, and, uh, well, Baconator wants to learn Fire Spin, but I am not going to teach him that because that's not really a good move right there. So here comes El Creamy, and you know what? I'm going to stay put right here with Blitzkrieg, and she's looking at me, and she's like, my morning tea is finally kicking in, and not a moment too soon. Oh, crud. Okay, so here we have El Creamy. It's time. Dynamax. And you know what? Let's go with Max Ooze just to finish this Pokemon off. Alrighty, time to Gigantamax this Pokemon. Bring it on. Alrighty. Look at this. Oh, yes. He's looking like a stun right here. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. He looks like he's playing guitar right there. This is freaking awesome. Okay. Bring it on. Are you prepared? I'm going to have some fun with this, oh crud. You know, the way she looked at me like that, that kind of scares me. Uh, crap. And she granny styles it. And here comes Al Creamy's gigantic max form. Holy crud, oh crud, oh crud. Oh. oh man, that is one big ass kick right there. But guess what? We're going to spoil her fun right now with the max ooze. Look at that. Max Who's nearly, oh god, nearly finishes off the Al Creamy. And that increases our special attack, so, uh oh. You like pink? Here, let us give you some. Oh wow. Oh wow, she is, uh, uh oh no. G Max Finale. This one is a pretty good move right here, and, uh, yeah, it's not very effective, but it will heal up your Pokemon right there. Oh crud. All right, let's do this. Maxu's finisher. Maxu's, and that nearly destroys Al Creamy, but not good enough right there. But it does boost up our special attack right here. So here comes another G Max finale, and well, Blitzkrieg getting his butt kicked again. Not so effective, but it will 
it will heal up our creamy just a little bit. So thankfully, Maxu's kind of raised up our special attack twice. So we can do this one last time. And there we go. Say goodbye to our creamy. Yeah, buddy. Bye bye Oh, yes. Okay. All righty. And <laughs> look at that. Optimus grows to level 41. And yes, regular form. How you doing? So there goes Gym Leader O'Paul. And yes, Toxtricity just celebrating. Your pink is lacking, but you're an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. Alrighty, we get some good money right there, and well. Well, she's taking her time. She's looking at us, and she's like, well, good try. Not bad, not bad at all. Still, not what I'm looking for. Oh, don't worry yourself about it, child. It's just a matter of my preference. I'll find the next gym leader somewhere, or elsewhere. In fact, I've already got an idea about where to look. Too bad about your audition, but here's a fairy badge for your efforts. Yeah, buddy, we're gonna... <laughs> yeah, buddy, look at that, shaking her hand, and here it is, guys. Our number, or, you know, gym battle, or gym, gym badge number five, the fairy badge. Okay, now we can catch Pokemon up to level 45, so this is gonna work for the off-screen stuff right here. Take this TM with you, too. A little bonus from this old lady. TM87, Draining Kiss. And, well, of course, this is a very, very powerful fairy-type move. The user steals the HP or the target's HP with a kiss. The user's HP is restored by over half the damage taken by the target. So it's not really a lot, but it's still a good move. Lastly, here's a little something for humoring me. This might help a little bit more pink to you. And here we have a fairy uniform, which is great. And, uh, well, of course, it's not good to neglect your elders, but old folk like me should also know when it's time to step out of the spotlight. Huh. Okay. Alrighty. So, yes, we received the TM, and, yeah, we got to go to the next gym. Now, before we finish up this whole thing, there is one more thing to do. Hold on now. The heck? I've got a few errands to run at Hammerlock. Care to join me for the journey? If you're headed the, uh, for the next gym stadium, you'll need to get to Hammerlock too, after all. Sure, fine. With pleasure. They say two's a company, after all. So there it is, guys. We defeated our fifth gym leader, and now we're going to go back to Hammerlock. Now, there is a little something waiting for us at Hammerlock. <laughs> Hammerlock, always such a dusty town. Though I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Okay, alrighty. There is something waiting for us over at Hammerlock, guys. It's just I prefer to showcase it in the next episode. Um, yeah, the next episode. Let's see, uh, Pokemon Center, you love, go to the stadium, and you'll run into Bead, and yeah, okay, so... That's going to have to wait for the next episode. But in the meantime, guys, off screen, there will be a lot. And I mean a lot that I'm going to be doing. So don't be too surprised if my Pokemon are a little bit leveled up. Or, you know, I just add a few new team members or whatnot and all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.